Y'all know the name. What's crack lacking boys and girls? I am Matinio and welcome to Project Cars! Yeah! So I've been waiting for this game for quite a long time now and oh god it's been a long wait. A long long wait. So as promised I am going to be going round uh, Bathurst or otherwise known as Mount Panorama in the DLC car which is the Lycan Hypersport. Now, I've had a little bit of a practice run because it has been a while because uh, it has been a while using a steering wheel and pedals uh, and actually you know doing a proper racing game um, I do like my GTA racing but this is a completely different animal so um, world's fastest 208.544 Jesus I'm not getting anywhere near that um, but not yet but hopefully I will so um, yeah, I've been I've played it for about half an hour on this track, just kind of getting a, a feel for it again. Because uh, I used to play, I used to play a lot on what was the last game Formula One 2012. I made that game last like two years, uh, but since I'd say last August, I haven't played on a racing wheel and pedals. Um, the racing wheel I'm using. I'll actually I'm going to reveal that when I get my limited edition version because this is a rental copy at the moment. Sadly for me, being the idiot I am, I didn't order or pre-order the limited edition version from the only retailer in England that was going to sell it. And by the time I'd figured it out and clocked on, they'd sold out. So yes, my stupidity again knows no bounds and it will never end. But I did find a very, very nice gentleman. Um, wait, that sounded weird. <laughs> no, I didn't find a nice gentleman. I like ladies. <laughs> No, I did find um, a cop. I did find a, a retailer that was selling copies, Amazon, in Germany. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the guy was actually good enough to call me from Germany and walk me through the process because, uh, with the exception of English and bad English, I don't speak any other fucking language. I did French for six years in school. Don't speak a word of it. You know, that's mainly because the French are cheese-eating, you know, um, surrender monkeys. As my old training manager on my old job used to say. So, uh, oh, one other thing. Before we get started, this is something very important. Now, I don't know if any of you saw, some of you may have come to my channel from his, but um, this shout out goes to Monkey Man Mick. He actually uh, does a weekly shout out. Uh, there'll be a link on screen now to his channel. Ding! And also, um, I'll do one for the video. I don't know how long these card things last, so I thought I've got to time my dings correctly. But there'll be a link uh, also in the description to his channel and the video itself. Um, but yeah, he gave me a shout out. I wasn't expecting it. It was really, really nice of him. Thank you. Um, since the shout out, I think I've gained some... I don't know whether they're all related, but I think I've gained something like 10 new subscribers in a week. Which is a lot. Uh, when you're just starting out, that is. And I think I've got like 30 or 40 new um, Twitter followers. Again, I don't know if the Twitter one is related, but um, I did take his advice. As you see, I have a, a, a trailer on my channel now. So check that out. Link in the description, I suppose. Um, so yes, I just want to say thank you, Monkey Man Mick. May your, your beard grow forever longer as you are a monkey man. May bananas rain down at your feet from the sky forevermore. May the poop you throw at other monkey men always hit their face. And uh, good luck with your channel. I will be watching. Um, he's also helped me out because I'm hopefully doing some PC gameplay. I don't know what on yet. Um, but he's also kind of given me a tip on what to use to record on that. So yes, Monkey Man Mick, thank you. But stay out of my house. And more importantly, stay out of my fridge. i seen you in there. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, let's get this started then. So yeah, like I said, it's been... I love racing games. I'm a massive racing fan. I've got a lot planned to, for this game. But first off, as promised, we're going to take uh, this animal around um, Bathurst. Uh, I think I'll do about five laps. Um, I've done about five or six laps already just to kind of get my get my ear in and you know, figure out um, 
you know, trying to get my wheel set up, calibrated. Um, as I said, I I got off a little tangent, but I am getting the limited edition version coming through. Hopefully tomorrow, which will be the 9th of May. Hopefully. But I won't roll it out until uh, Monday. So, but as soon as I get that, I will be doing a short unboxing. I will be showing my little racing setup. Don't worry, it's not like I've got a 10 grand race simulator thing sat here. Uh, but I will be showing you what uh, wheel and pedal set I am using, uh, my setup, and uh, for the racing that is. And uh, you know, I'll also be doing a little thing where I kind of uh, go through and play with the uh, the limited edition cars, which is the uh, the McLaren F1, the Sauber C9, the uh, the GT40 Mark VI, IV. I think IV is Roman numerals IV for six. I think it is. Um, there's also the uh, this is the long-winded one. The Mercedes AMG C Class Coupe DTM. I think that's it. And the last one was the BMW M1, which I'm really looking forward to because it looks a savage car. And I might also, because you pre order, you get the uh, the modified car pack as well. So I might be going through, I probably will go through those as well, which I think was the Aerial Atom. Uh, I'm not sure. There's so many different ones. There's a 500, there's a V8. I'm not sure which one it is. There's also a Pagani Zonda in there and a RUF or a Ruff. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. <laughs> so, let's get this started then. Let's get crack a lack in. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, we're going. Okay. Now, I wouldn't expect anything too impressive right now. I, I am seeing a very sharp, sharp increase in how good I'm getting at this, even after six laps. So hopefully the old um, the old uh, steering wheel skill is still there. Ooh, God damn it! Oh, I've adjusted the uh, I've adjusted the wheel sensitivity down to one, uh, or the dead zone down to one. But yeah, this is a very impressive game, very nice. And also this, you can hear the front just grinding, 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 grinding. Ooh, that was close. Gotta be really careful on the accelerator because this thing is an animal. Um, through here, this is like, oh, this is like Monaco. It's so tight. It's nice and open. You know, I'm surprised actually with um, how narrow this circuit is. I thought it'd be a bit wider. Not of this section, of course. This section is uh, very much walled in, so people don't go flying off the mountain. I wonder if that's a lesson they learn the hard way. Oh wait, yeah, mountain. Yeah, okay, they're gonna go off it. Now, I'm going to try and talk as you know as much as I can, but it's kind of like at the moment I'm trying to just concentrate and make sure I don't bin this thing. <laughs> because even though it's only a virtual car, it would be a shame to bin uh, a Lycan Hypersport because I don't know how many there are in the world. Uh, oh god, that's bad. Oh, oh that's rid. Oh shit. Right, okay. Like I said, it's been like fucking nine, ten months since I've played on steering wheel and pedals. And that's not going to help my visibility. Through here, down, through here, and down. Get off the wall, you moron. Damn oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? I didn't have a properly big, big shunt until I started recording. So, yeah, I'm blaming all you guys for watching. You're making me nervous. And you know what? This wheel, oh, I can't see shit through this windscreen. Oh, God. Oh, full beans. 76. What's the braking zone? There it is. Just break, dip it a little bit, and then back on the power. Get your line right. Bring it down a bit, and uh, just feed it through here. Oh, that's grass. I like grass. Feels good against my toes. Oh, come on, go, 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 go. Give it the beans. Don't be a pussy. Hard breaking into this one. Oh, broke a bit too hard there, but there you go. We threw that corner. Right, okay. Broken windscreen, no broken windscreen. Fuck it. I'll call auto glass if I have to. First corner. You know, it's sharp that it looks on TV. Okay, so why? Now I'm going to run through. Why did I pick the Lycan Hypersport? Well, it's the first DLC car. Now, they have announced that they are going to be doing a lot of DLC cars. I hope it's not just one a month. I hope we're going to get a whole load of things. I really hope we get something like, I don't know, 
I know the uh, the Lotus um, 98T is in there. That's the um, that's the 86 F1 car, I believe, which Senna drove. Uh, but we did a little bit on that. Uh, but I hope we get something like the MP44 or any of the 80s uh, McLarens because they were fucking beasts. And I am a massive F1 fan, so um, the 80s were pretty much it was the power crazed era, wasn't it? It was the era that um, yeah, everything was just uber powerful. I think it was late. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Oh god. I'm not giving myself a good account, am I? I'm not giving a good account of myself here. Come on, come on, that's it. And why why this circuit? Well, it looks a difficult circuit, a bit tough, a bit of a challenge. And also, I've seen plenty of um, the uh, V8 supercars, the Aussie V8 supercars, and this track looks kind of interesting. Mainly because of the uh, the amount of elevation, to, oh, God damn it, the, the amount of elevation change you get with it, as well. So it just seemed a challenge. There's a lot of corners that are kind of uh, you know kind of cambered a little bit as well. So if you hit them right, you can probably get a lot of right. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking um, let's reset to the pit box quickly. Because that, 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 that windscreen was buggered, okay? So I've called auto glass and we're back. Right, God, this is going to be a long video. I was thinking, yeah, maybe 15 minutes, that'd be fine. But with all the talking and the, uh, you know, the excessive crashing, it's been a lot longer than that. But yeah, um, it's kind of been difficult because I used to race on something. Um, I used to race, I've had a, a wheel before. It was a, a, a Logitech Driving Force EX and uh, there wasn't much you could adjust on it this there's loads of adjustments on my new wheel loads of adjustments you can make and uh, also Ooh, god damn it uh, there's also a lot of new things on the game to learn like i see these little tire things there can forget about that i've got to kind of warm the tires a little bit i think i don't know whether they are warmed up properly though i don't know what the, what the symbols mean i think blue means cold I am gonna get this. It's gonna come good. It's gonna come good in the end. It just takes a bit of time to get used to. Believe me, I was crap when I started playing games on steering wheel. Thought that'd ah, be easy. So so simple, so easy. Just like riding a bike, but it's not. It's difficult. And that corner, I hate that corner. I already dislike that corner because you can't. It's deceptive. I'm not a fan of this one either because. It's so tight, you just get dragged into that wall so easily. Ooh. This one's a kind of a hard one to judge as well. God, I'm so far off the racing map. I'm, just, I'm creating my own race line today. Fuck it. Oh, get off there. Okay, down the back straight. Give it the beans. Let's be brave on the brakes. I can't remember that, I've adjusted some of the settings. Let's bring this down, let's bring this down, let's bring this down, let's bring this down. Ooh, there we go, wide. Like I said, I wouldn't, I'll, don't expect anything too impressive. I'm not going to go out like putting like a, a 205 on this track in this thing. Straight off the bat. Feed it in, get it nice and settled. And, ooh, that wasn't settled, but we, we we're away again. Ooh. That's also difficult because I don't know the track. You do have the little um, the little markers on screen on the track there, but when you're coming down that one, the sun's right on it, so you can't see you can't see when it turns from green to orange to red. So it is kind of difficult, but you know, I like this car. I do. I wasn't expecting it to be as grippy as it is, and it does have a fair amount of grip to it. But you, you can definitely tell it's a hypercar or a supercar because ooh, it's very squirrely on the back end, especially when you're trying to get the power down out of the corner. Oh, that. Oh, God. Oh, there goes the paint job. Oh, shit. <laughs> Like I said, you shouldn't expect anything massively impressive, you know. It's not like I'm going to just be going and banging out world record times. Not yet. 
I hope to. But not yet. Uh, oh, fuck. I want that. Yeah, that's the thing. You start to push it and then you just... You can't. You can't push it. Arr, come on. Get off there. Plus, I don't know the circuit and it's going to get even worse later because we're going on... We're going to be going... Uh, taking this bloody thing down... Down where... Oh, I don't know. More natural habitat. I suppose you can call it. We're going to go down the California coastline. See, that's... that's oh, that's what happens all the time. Fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed now. You know, I was an absolute fucking boss. I, I, I'm, I'm really good at racing games, believe it or not, despite what you're seeing here. So, I do recall a time where... I mean, any, any kind of racing game, really. I remember on Mario Kart 64. In the two years I played it, I was never beaten in a, in a battle. The closest I came was at this New Year's Eve thing, and I'm talking Millennium New Year's Eve thing where I eliminated my mate quite early and uh, it was only going to come down between me and him so I eliminated him in the quarterfinals uh, beat, beat some fucking some guy it was his mate's, birth, uh, mate's millennium partner but it was his parents millennium partner so it was one of his dad's friends I beat the crap out of him it was easy in the final with I shit you not I'm talking a pot of lollipops the size of your head. On the line, within the first 30 seconds, I was down from I was down to one balloon left. I don't know if you, any of you were old enough to remember Mario Kart 64, but that was a bad thing against this fucking nine-year-old girl. So I wasn't having this. All the tricks in my repertoire came out, and I eventually won. There you go, Mario Kart story. Enjoy. Not the Mario Kart you got on the Wii now. No, none of that nonsense. I'm talking proper, old school, old man Mario Kart. Oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. The little attention to detail you get there when you're braking hard, the front of the car scraping. Come on. Yeah, so again, that's another thing I've got to get used to. I've got to make sure that um, I've got to kind of talk at the same time when normally I'd be doing this in like total silence, total concentration, trying to be all center esque but yeah, I've always liked racing games, uh, especially the Formula 1, I'm a massive Formula 1 fan, massive. Oh god, that wall again, fuck's sake, that's Matinho's wall, there it is. That's what we're calling it from now, that's Matinho's wall, because I'm pretty able to show that wall. I spend most of my time in it, it's like the wall of champions, except I'm not a champion, yet. Yep, so I've got to be uber cautious through here because I don't want to hit that wall on the left. And down through here. And then down through here again. Yep. And like I say, it's just getting used to a whole new. These are, this is a proper racing wheel I'm doing on. A proper one. The other one was good. I really enjoyed it. I loved that wheel. It was so much fun to play on. But this one is a whole different animal. The brake pedal alone is a hell of a lot different. There's actual. You know. There's, Pressure, you've got to put pressure into it. Oh god, I didn't realize I'm not even flooring it. God, have you become this bored driving? Uh, it's also just about, you know, just, uh, just getting used to the new setup. Because now I'm, uh, my old chair, it was one of those bent wood chairs, so you, uh, you sat, actually sat a lot lower. But this one is, uh, you may have seen it in my um, unboxing video slightly I've got a leather recliner and um, but I'm not gonna lie I'm getting pretty warm in it it's getting pretty warm right now it's getting hot in here getting hot all there too oh break 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 that's it I'm gonna find my techniques again as well for this thing just to make sure I'm doing it right because um ugh. Whew, I'm getting hot Jesus Just yeah, like, just finding out where I can, where I can maybe just not brake, where I can just dab the brake slightly. I mean, don't get me wrong, the markers are helpful, especially because I have I've never driven this track, and that was what, that was the main reason I wanted to because, like I said, I've seen a lot of, uh, of the V8 supercars going around here, and also remember how they did this. Um, it was like a, a media thing 
you know, a sponsored thing, I think it was to do with Vodafone, where they had um, the um, one of the V8 supercar drivers, which was sponsored by Vodafone, uh, come up and have a go, and Jensen Button was there in one of the McLarens, I think it was the, in the MP, I think it was the MP4, I think, sorry, the MP22, I think it was the 2008 McLaren, the one Hamilton won his first title, and I think it was that one, and he had that caning round here, so yeah. Uh, on this on this uh, evidence, I don't think I'll be taking a Formula A car or Formula 1 car around here anytime soon. It's just about finding out where my limit is and then trying to push that limit. Okay, so that's been, it's relatively, it's been a relatively clean lap so far. I might actually get half, oh god, spoke too soon, fuck! <laughs> I've actually got a half decent time. I've got 20 seconds to make it to the end to hit a world record. I can't see that actually happening. You know, if I could be within, let's say I could be within 10 seconds of uh, the world record time, I'll be, I would end this video quite pleased with myself. Oh, get away with this. The other thing about it, because my other steering wheel, my older one, didn't have that much of a turning angle. This one does, so I've had to kind of play around with that to find the best angle for me. And, uh, oh god, that was a. Oop, saved it. Okay, so we'll do this lap and then one other lap. Next lap, I'm going to go full fucking beans. This one's going to be an exploration, 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 exploration lap. It'll be one of the two. I don't know. I'm trying to drive. We'll go uber fucking late on the brakes here, trying to drag as much speed through this corner as possible. Okay, that's it. That's better. There we go. See, that's the thing, I get the feeling I'm breaking a little bit too much, but I don't know if... Uh... So yeah, this is a game I've been waiting for for a long, long time. You've probably seen me harp on about it in uh, on my Twitter feed and also in, um, in a couple of other videos. I think I did mention it in my... Um... I think it was the Last of Us Part 8, the missing episode of The Last of Us Part 8, was it? I think it was. When we were in the graveyard. Yep. So, because this was originally supposed to come out in, um, it was November of last year, because this was supposed to come out the same week as, uh, ow! Ow, fucker! <laughs> uh, the same week that GTA, the remastered GTA on PS4 and Xbox One was supposed to come out, which was also the same week of things like, um, The Crew and Drive Club. And I didn't, I didn't go in for Drive Club. I was going to wait for the uh, the PS uh, the PS Plus version, which is basically the free version. But uh, six months on, that fucker still hasn't materialised, so I'm just I'm not even going to bother with Drive Club. Fuck it, I'm, I'm bored of it. Unless it has come out and no one's told me. In which case, leave a comment down below. But um, yeah, I never went for the, the crew. I played the uh, the the uh, closed or the open beta of the crew as well. But after playing it, it was just. Oh, I've just, it bored me, you know, I was just driving around the country, it was like I was a, like a long haul trucker or something, you know. So it just, it didn't entertain me, it probably would have been more fun with friends, but you know, the thing, I'm not going to, you know, spend 50, 60 quid on the game when it just, uh, it could be good, you know. This one I knew would be good, this one was right up my alley, because it's more simulation based. While I do love my arcade racer, which pretty much at this point, the only one I have is uh, Grand Theft Auto. It's not strictly a racer, but they have made big improvements on GTA 4. But apart from that, the only other game I played was uh, the Formula 1 games. And 2015 is coming out and hitting next gen finally. So I'm really looking forward to that. Right, let's pump those brakes a little bit. Try and get this easy call and get the power down without spinning up the back wheels. Okay, this will be the final lap. So I'm getting used to the track. I feel like I'm getting quicker. When I'm not hitting walls and shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
you just got to be so careful, especially around this section, because the slightest mistake, and uh, yep, you're going to be uh, you're making out with a wall, which is not something I've done in a while. What? I'm lonely. Leave me alone. <laughs> that's this one. This one. This one. That's really That's a deceptive corner. That's why I dislike it. You lie to me, corner. I think I'm out of you, and then you come and get me again. Down through here. Oh god, that one. Oh, that one as well. Oh god. And once you're on this wall, that's the thing. You can't. There's no way off of it. You can't. You just dragged into it, and you drag right the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Fast and the Furious humour. It's nice, you know, it's a nice car. It's a nice car. I was expecting it to be a bit more, you know, kick in your face and steal your wallet kind of power, but... Ah, uh, ball sacks. Alright, we're going for another lap. One more lap. One more lap to save the world. My aim now is... Um, oh, it's, a, it's an ambitious aim. I was saying 10 seconds. Within 10 seconds of the thingy, it's not going to happen. I'm going for a 225. I'll be happy with the 225. Because I don't know if that 208 lap is in a Lycan. It just says that's the world record 208. I imagine you can go faster right here. But, whatever. We're going to do it with this. There's my braking marker. And uh, we'll get through here. Right, and up the hill we go. Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. Okay, I don't know where that came from. Uh, we'll leave it late. Pump the brakes. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yeah, definitely around that corner. I think I'm breaking a bit too much, but I haven't got the balls to try and take any any more speed through that corner. This one, not so much. Which is definitely kind of breaking, keeping it in check through the corner. You see, I'm just doubling on the power. Ugh. Come on, there we go. Yeah, you're, you're gonna find better races out there right now on this game. You are. And all of my friends have basically been saying I'm gonna kick their ass in this game, but they're using controllers. So I shouldn't be held to the same account as they should because eventually I am going to kick their ass because the advantage of winning pedals is with the controller though it's nice and it's convenient and all that gubbins I've always said that with people said oh does it really make a difference with a wheelchair uh, a wheelchair <laughs> I don't know the way I've been crushing I should be in a fucking wheelchair by now uh, with the wheel and pedals does it really make a difference and the answer boys and girls is yes definitely because you can you can make slight adjustments that you can't with the um, with the controller so when you kind of um, you're on your analog sticks and you're turning, you're either most of the time you're either fully turning or not turning at all. And it's hard to make really just very minuscule adjustments like with this, especially also with braking as well. Braking and also accelerating, so you could just you could ease the power gently on a lot better. You can still do it in a controller, but I think it's just a lot easier with a wheel and pedals. Oh, we might actually have a half decent lap here. I'm not gonna smash the Oh 223! Well I made my record, I made my I made my mark. So there it is boys and girls. Like and hypersport round that panorama. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, uh, please go ahead and uh, well pay my fucking insurance premiums because I'm sure my no claims bonus is gone and uh, my premiums have also gone through the roof. Uh, subscribe for more daily content. There will, as I said, also be another video out later today, which will be this same car going around the California coastline. So uh, check that out. And um, yeah, keep it right here for more Project Cars action. And I will catch you boys and girls on the flip side. Peace. Uh oh! No! No! <laughs>
This is bad. Help me! I'm swinging upside down. That's what just goddamn happened. I'll kick your ass, Bill. 